opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers stay up to date with all things cricket subscribe to crick buzz's youtube channel and press that bell icon now in terms of ollie robinson though um you mentioned how well he bowled off the top with the new ball he could have found the outside edge four or five times i suppose in his first three overs and i've watched him bowl a lot for sussex in the last few years huss and i've watched his entire test career so far he looks ready made at age 28 for this level this step up he's so consistent and what he lacks in pace he makes up for uh, with height uh, and with deviation and with consistency landing it on a handkerchief handkerchief all day long and it's a little bit of a concern that he did pull up lame with that one over spell he bowled deep into the day because I think he could have a big say in this series. Oh, yeah, I thought he bowled really well. Uh, the thing about bowling in Australia, and, and particularly at the Gabba, when the ball's moving around, you have to get the ball full of length. And, and as well as Ollie Robertson bowled, he, he could have actually been a little bit fuller. So as you mentioned, he, he beat the bat and beat the bat and beat the bat from balls that were just short of a good length, his natural length. The, fight, the time that he found David Warner's edge and the catch should have been taken um, you know, in the slips was the one that was a bit fuller. He brought David Warner for, uh, forward a lot more and that's the one that catches the nick. You know, it, it looks great when you're bowling just that short of a length and the ball's seeming, you're beating the bat, but unfortunately that's not where you get the wickets. Where you get the wickets is when you're prepared to bowl fuller and get the bat, batsman driving and, and, and yeah, unfortunately for him, the one he did get fuller should have been taken by Burns in the, in mm. the slips, but um, it, it went down. And But but you're right, you know, he, he's a consistent bowler. He's a skillful bowler. Uh, he knows where the ball is going and, and, and he probably deserved to get a few more wickets today um, with the efforts he put in. Let's hope he's okay um, because it was quite hot out there today. Let's just hope it was a bit of cramp and he can recover well overnight and come back out and, and keep bowling for England because... He's a key man in their attack, and I agree. I think he's definitely going to have some spells throughout this series where he's going to get some success.